have it done today. So today's tool video is going to be in about this particular box here, and then we'll go over it of what everything's in there. I got my pouches in there. I got extra tools in there. Let's talk about that. So I keep uh, knee pads and gloves in this toolbox as well. So I uh, can't really see my face today, but I'm gonna come up so you can focus more on the tool bags. So this is my setup. It's a little, uh, it's actually a few different bags in one. It's an awesome setup, works really well for me. So same thing, I keep a pair of gloves in here. You reach in there, first thing that comes on is your gloves. Yeah, so this is my favorite tool pouch yet. This is, uh, I believe it's, yeah, it's Bucket Boss. This is their professional series. And then this is from uh, one of my first tool pouches, which was by Husky. I really like, I really like this here, and this is where I actually keep my tape measure. So this is a, this is the DeWalt uh, 25 foot tape measure. And that just sits right in this pouch. In this little pouch as well, I have a, this is my backup pencil. Um, you'll be up on a ladder, you'll drop your pencil. I keep a little shorty. It's not real easy to work with because it's so small, but it's nice because it just sits right at the bottom of the pouch and my tape measure sits right over it. Um, I prefer to have my tape measure in the front as opposed to the side. I'm right-handed, so a lot of my tool bag setup is, uh, is I'm right-handed, so I have all the tools that I would mainly use with my right hand in this pouch and everything that I would use my left hand for would be in this pouch. So I got fasteners in here, I got different fasteners in here and then uh, this one's empty right now right now I got actually some some nails that I've pulled out but usually this is I have some smaller fasteners in here larger ones in the back uh, so well here we've got the I got another this is my primary pencil that I use and it's got this little extension on here um, I, I can't remember where I got this or who it's made by but it's a little pencil extender so you could get more life out of your pencils and that just hangs out right in here. Uh, when I when I do need the jab saw, this will be where I keep the jab saw. I don't have it on me; it's in the toolbox right now. Same thing. This is my uh, one of my favorite knives. This is by Dewalt, and I keep this one on here at all times. So it's nice. It's got the little safety blade or extra blades in the back with this nice little safe cover. And here I keep my chalk line. I use red because these pouches are my exterior pouches so a lot of jobs that I'm using these pouches for it's usually outside or rough framing and stuff so I got this in there uh, so in here the main the main compartments pretty empty I, I don't use it all that often I use it maybe to put brackets or something in here to hold and then I have uh, I have a scribing tool in here there's a small pocket I also keep a pen which is great for for trim I use pens. I got a pair of linesman pliers. I'm right-handed. I'm gonna say that a lot in this video. So same thing. So and then I got a, a little five or seven in one screwdriver. This is by Husky Home Depot brand. Great little screwdriver. Um, I, I like this one in particular because it's not very expensive. So if you lose it, drop it, ruin it, break it, it's easy to replace, and it fits nice in this pouch. So another thing that I have in here is. So I got a little file. I don't use it all that much, but it's small, light, so it, it is nice to have. So then I have a little uh, crescent wrench, just a small one. Um, this one is, this is just a cheap, some cheap, doesn't, doesn't even have a brand on there, just a little six inch. Chills right in here. There are some other additional pockets. They uh, stay pretty, I usually put my phone in this one here so but they stay pretty empty on this side i try to kind of balance both my pouches to where they're somewhat even so you're not walking sideways with it so on the back i have my hammer now this is my favorite hammer this is the dewalt so i in, i mentioned it in one of my last videos that i uh i'll show show this hammer off and i might do a video sp specifically on this hammer but i like it because it's kind of flat on top it's got a nice claw it's very strong it'll bend before it breaks uh, it's got a wider head wider head here so it's good for hitting and this is a 20 ounce it's 
it's the shorter handle which I personally like I don't like the real long handles I do have a longer hammer in the box so if I am doing you know framing with it I it rarely comes out technology nowadays is allowed us to use pneumatic nailers so this is kind of this is my go-to this is one of my favorite hammers fits good you can hit with it hard and then that just goes right here so this clip here that it sits on this is uh, by tough build which is a nice little clip it, it keeps the hammer higher up so it doesn't swing as much so I, and you'll notice that I don't keep my hammer in the middle I keep it more to my right side because I'm right-handed so I can reach it easier I don't have to reach back in here to grab it so this is where I like it uh, so then on this side I have uh, just a, a cheap chisel nothing nothing fancy just from Harbor Freight I get like a pack of four of them for a few bucks so I have uh, my speed square in here now this is the Swanson speed square great speed square uh, excellent for framing you can see you can see the numbers real clear some of the other ones if it's too bright outside it's hard to tell but here they got their numbers they're black so you can see this when it's really bright outside so and then in this compartment I'll keep extra nails and then I got my little pry bars in here so one of my another favorite tool now this is the Titan one the stainless steel one and this is the shorty one which I like the shorty one for this one here because it sits inside the main compartment of this bag and then this is a little cat's paw I don't know why they call it a cat's paw it looks more like a hoof to me but and they had a it had a, a, a blue rubber piece on here that I took off I didn't like it very much so works good for me it's same thing seven seven inches approximately just sits right at the bottom there so then from here we got I got a paddle bit a three-quarter inch paddle bit and that just hangs out right in here I got an extra apex in here with a number three I keep the number two on the drill and then I got a little uh, uh, nail punt or nail set which is interchangeable this side is three this is and this one's at Home Depot as well so just real easy it's two two and one and that just hangs out right in here as well uh, then I got a little torpedo level this is by Johnson not it's pretty inexpensive but it fits nice in the bag which is why I bought that one an extra pencil I carry an extra one so I try not to keep I try not to sharpen this one till I absolutely need it because if I sharpen it then I'll start using both so I try to keep it not sharpened till this one's done and ready to be changed and then I keep a couple of sharpies these are excellent sharpies these are by Milwaukee they're great and I really love this little feature in here that they have when you're doing a lot of work and a lot of times your hands are busy you put it right in your teeth give it a good yank mark what you got to mark if my dentist is watching stop watching so that's that so yes yeah, so this is my my tool pouch setup.